high dynamic range on televisions is in essence just a brighter screen. When you increase the brightness on a normal screen, black also gets brighter. But on a HDR screen, black remains black. That results in a higher range between light and dark and deeper colors. Filming in HDR is basically underexposing and then playing it back on a very bright screen. The exposure looks normal then, but the highlights are much brighter. Great. You can get the HDR experience on any screen. Pause this video and set the illumination, the backlight, to maximum. Dim the room when possible. And hope that your screen has no auto brightness enabled. Ready? Good. Now watch these random clips I made, while each one magically changes to HDR. You may be thinking now, I want HDR, but don't be fooled. You've been looking at a standard dynamic range video all along. What I'm doing is to first compress the maximum brightness and then switch back to the normal video. There is a big problem with HDR. No TV yet can reach the brightness of professional studio screens. It's up to the creators to limit the brightness. The um, solution is that brightness levels that the TV cannot display are compressed by the TV. So highlights look different on every TV model. Also, the infamous local dimming of the backlight to achieve HDR in the first place does a poor job of keeping details in both shadows and highlights and causes blooming around bright objects. And to top it off, TVs still come with an abundance of bloat advertised as improvements. My advice is Disable as much of this nonsense as you can. That should get you closer to what the maker intended. Approaching target. Coming. Ooh. What was that? Nothing. I'm good. Did you just fart? No, man. Target. Freeze! Freeze, mother! Hey! You in the office chair! Freeze! This is the nonsense is getting out of hand. I said freeze! Freeze! Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Put the mind down! Shut up, or I'll shoot! Come on, man! Get out of your lazy chair and dance! I mean, freeze!